how to customize WooCommerce My Account page quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can customize your My Account page for your customers using WooCommerce. So let's get into it. Now, WooCommerce is a simple to use integration on WordPress, which enables you to build the most premium experience for your WordPress website customers or users, where they will be able to do a lot more with their account pages rather than just buy and, you know, sign up. So to get started, all you have to do is go to your WooCommerce page. Once you log on to your WooCommerce page or website, you're just going to take a look at your dashboard. So from your dashboard, just go down and click on plugins. So in your plugin section, click on add new. And once you click on add new plugins, this will be the web page. So from here, you're just going to click on search plugins and you're going to search for WooCommerce. So once you have searched for WooCommerce, you will see that you have multiple different WooCommerce integrations available. So you have WooCommerce integrations, not only simply for open source e-commerce, but you also have payment solutions as well. But you're just going to download the WooCommerce integration for the simple e-commerce integration. And you're just going to install that onto your WordPress platform. So we're just waiting for this to be installed on and this will just take a couple of minutes for you to get started for this to be downloaded you can also integrate plugins simply by uploading so you can just go on ahead and go to woocommerce and download their resources and then upload them directly from your wordpress account so once you have your plugin installed you're just going to click on activate over here or just go into your installed plugins and click on activate to begin setting up your my account section so once you have done that, you will begin adding your WooCommerce setup. So we're just going to continue on over here. Just enter your address or you can skip this store details for now. And we're just going to click on no thanks over here. We're going to skip this for now. Now, once you have done that, you will be able to see WooCommerce in your extensions over here. So from here, you can begin customizing the overall section for customers. So you can click on customers over here and you'll be able to see the overall customers. You can click on settings to begin adding your settings and adding your products and shipping and payment integrations as well. So what we're going to do over here is that we're just going to go into accounts and privacy and now you can use guest checkout you can allow account creations so we're going to allow account creations we're going to scroll down and you can also choose personal data retention and all those other options so we are going to allow customers to create an account on the my account page and i will just click on save at the bottom over here to change the my account settings so now the my account settings have been changed now you also have other integrations with woocommerce as well as advanced integrations where you can see you have your cart page checkout page my account page you can see all of these paid setups and how they are set up so you can see your account and points so orders leads to orders view orders leads to view orders and so on and so forth so these specific page url handle these specific actions on your website now you can click on visit store over over here to go on ahead and view your store and view the shop and how people are meant to sign up on their my account section so you can click on my account and you can see this is how it's going to appear so to begin editing this you can even use elementor or you can even use wordpress's native integrations as well and you can click on edit page over here or customize to further customize so this is the my account section over here and now we can just click on page or we can click on block and we can insert any code or you can simply just click on the top left over here and you will see multiple different blocks and patterns that you can add so let's say you want to add multiple headings to people that whenever they are browsing their my account section so you want a my order section and then below that maybe you want to add some media or you want to add some groupings or buttons however you want to add your custom text you can do that and then just click on update on the top right over here or you can even click on edit with elementor if you are using the elementor web page integration and you can use elementor to further add you know more customization to your wordpress my account section so 
you can go on ahead and add you know cancelled orders and suggested items for our customers with your my account section as well now moving back to our wordpress account over here we're just going to go into woocommerce so in this way you can really personalize your e-commerce store you can add so many other integrations to further personalize the overall customer experience for your customer now you do have multiple different costs running uh, when you are using woocommerce or wordpress to build your store so in terms of pricing if i was to say that it is absolutely free that is not true for WooCommerce, for example, if you have WooCommerce payments, it allows you to manage your payments directly in your WooCommerce dashboards and you will have to pay 2.9% plus 30 cents for each transaction made with a United States issued credit or debit cards or for any card that is issued outside of the United States, there is a 1% more fee. So every time that someone purchases from your e-commerce store, you would actually be paying around 3.9% plus 30 cents to the WooCommerce payment getaway for the, you know, transactional fees or running costs. So these are just some of the additional costs that you will have to incur when you are using WooCommerce or any other WordPress plugin. You also have to account for things such as your hosting plans when you are using WordPress as well. So it still is quite a good option for you to create your e-commerce store using WordPress. However, I would recommend that you do check out Shopify before you get started with building your WordPress e-commerce store with WooCommerce because although it is a great application, WordPress and WooCommerce work hand in hand. However, if you're using Shopify, you can use Shopify payment getaways, you can use their integrations, you can use their simple setup systems and the way that they have optimized their platform specifically for e-commerce is going to be super beneficial for you. So for that reason, I do recommend to most people that they should get started with Shopify, although people might feel like, okay, I might be able to get all of the same features from WooCommerce and WordPress when I'm using them together with a lower price, I'm not going to have to pay as much. But I do feel like you are going to slowly inculcate multiple different small fees on WordPress and WooCommerce, which will end up costing you more in the long run. And hence why I find that the fee that you just have to pay with Shopify takes care of everything and you don't have to worry about multiple different integrations billing you at multiple different times and so on and so forth. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with WooCommerce and set up your My Account pages as well as WordPress. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out. And if I left something out, make sure to let me know as well. And I will make a updated version for you guys. Now, if you found this helpful, make sure to share it with a friend or with someone you might feel like this might help them. So make sure that you are sharing this video with some people that this could help them with. So that was it for today and I will catch you guys in the next video.